I'm not. Listen, it's just yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot of like serums questions. and creams. It's not a lot of knowledge. Hello. See, perfect. Oh. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, let's skate. Let's so skate. usually, like, I don't have an Olympic champion ice skater with me, mm -hmm. but I just feel like we should link anyway, okay. even though you don't need the help. I don't need it, but I would like it. Okay. So to all of you living under a rock, Meryl is a world champion, a multiple time national champion and an Olympic champion, and also has three Olympic medals. Oh, well, thank you. You have the full set. I do, yeah, we've gold. got bronze, silver, gold. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like a moment in your skating career that really stands out as a favorite moment? Maybe it was winning Olympics or was it something that we wouldn't sure. think? I think probably one of my favorite moments was Charlie and I, I mean, we've been skating together for 22 years. Oh, whoa. And I think at the World Championships in 2009, mm -hmm. I felt like that was sort of the competition and the experience that made us realize that we could really up our game and what we were capable of. Yeah. But I mean, we ended up getting fourth at the competition mm -hmm. actually. And I think the, the disappointment of not placing on the podium was actually this really wonderful sort of fire set beneath us. I think it was then that we realized we know what we have to do, we yeah. just have to do it. Right, <laughs> yeah. when like a dream becomes a goal. Yeah, and it, it can be kind of scary, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know if you felt the same way. Did you have a moment when you realized you know, for me, it was really uh, uh, 2006 mm -hmm. because I was training with Kimi Meisner, mm -hmm. who was uh, a 2006 Olympian and then went on to win the world championships. Yeah. And that was the first time I was like, oh my God, I skated with somebody who was training to become a world champion. Yeah. Usually in this part of the show, mm -hmm. we teach someone. <laughs> we teach someone how to do a trick. Steps. Yeah. And um, you already know how to do all the tricks, so I feel like this is a really great time where you teach me. Oh, okay, I teach you. Yeah. I want to do a twizzle. Okay, so let's skate backwards this okay. way. And then we'll do our little hop into it. Let's do five, oh, we need a little speed. <laughs> and then skate back this way. When you and Charlie skated, this was sort of like a signature move of you guys. Yeah. Was that you did these incredibly fast twizzles down the rink. We practiced them so much that we could actually tell based on the sound of the other person's blade on the yeah. ice if we were in sync or not. You could? Yeah. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Look at that. Like, what happened here? It's not good for me. Retirement happened. <laughs> Oh my god, I was listening to like the sound of your blades and I thought we were in sync. We were in sync until we were... You said that your show was called Breaking the Ice, and so I thought to myself, I need to break the ice with yeah. my elbow. <laughs> so, after all of your Olympic success, yeah. you went on and you basically killed it on Dancing with the Stars and you won. Yeah, as did you. <laughs> Did you think that the show was harder or was it easier for you being an ice dancer? I think it was easier. Um, just having skated with Charlie my whole life, I was yes. used to working with a partner and moving away from your Olympic experience. For the first time, you're thinking, okay, well, I can really throw myself into something new and different. Yes. Um, so yeah, I loved it. But then also, this past summer, yeah. you got married. Yeah, we got married in France in June. And then we had a civil ceremony in August back in Michigan, which was so nice. I'm glad it was civil. 
It was. It was very civil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike our wedding in France, very uncivil. <laughs> so I know that you could do a spiral really well. Yeah. What is a spiral? A spiral is when you're standing on one foot, one uh -huh. blade, and then you lift the other foot behind you. Yeah, like so, an arabesque and dance. Like an arabesque. I'm gonna do the, the knee one. And I can just go and this so I'm way. just gonna strike my spiral pose. No, I like your eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> like, where do I look? Do I look at you? <laughs> <laughs> Should I look at you? Yes. That seems like really intimate. <laughs> Where do I look? <laughs> or does Charlie look at your eyes the whole time? I think so. That's scary. I've never thought about it before. You're so confused. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Oh, oh my God. And then? <laughs> my cuckoo is gonna <laughs> be ripped in half. Oh, that was fun, that was good. That was great. What is that transition like from being a competitive athlete into going into basically like the normal world? Yeah, well, you know, I think that as an athlete, we have such tunnel vision, mm. you know, and we're so focused on the task at hand. And I think trying to find something that you're as passionate about is a challenge. And I think that's something a lot of athletes go through. It's difficult to get to know yourself outside of the context in which you've sort of spent your whole life. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, when we're retiring at 20 something, you know, know, before you're 30. That transition can be so jarring. I think having conversations with people and just being open to being uncomfortable has been really big for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like moving on from skating, being uncomfortable in the context of sort of stepping into the unknown has right. been, uh, it's been a challenge, but. You know, one thing like, as your friend, yeah. I'm so impressed that you did go back to school. Yeah. And as a competitive athlete, it's almost impossible to balance um, a school schedule and um, a, a training schedule. Yeah. There are athletes that do it, but it's very difficult and it takes you a long time to get through it. Yeah. I'm in year 13. So <laughs> oftentimes when I tell people I'm in school, they, they're asking, oh, are you getting your PhD or your grad? No, yeah. I'm undergrad. But uh, yeah, I'm no Nathan Chen, <laughs> but. Uh, I mean, who is? No, yeah, only Nathan. When you were competing, when you were training and mm -hmm. skating, yeah. what was the element that you had the hardest time getting? Mm. I think probably the most challenging or the scariest are lifts because... I feel like we have to do one now. We do. They got very acrobatic as time went on and so for safety reasons we would practice on the floor and then move to the ice. Also, I... But we're, we're not, not going to do, do that. that. We're going to no, dive right in No, we today. are not. No, have I ever lifted anyone? No, but I think... Why not lift you? I, I would be honored. <laughs> so I think the first thing we should do is just a bucket lift. Okay. So we need a little momentum because it'll be easier. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you this leg and, yeah. then I, and then I'm gonna kick this leg up and put it here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Do, 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 oh wait, do. that's, okay. And yeah. Can I do You can the, lunge, you could do. Lo oh, lunge. <laughs> I'm not gonna get back up. Oh, wait, is this right? Yeah, that's really good. Wow. And then we can lunge out together. Oh, Beautiful. Thank you. That was really nice. Yeah, let's try another one. So okay. I think I'm just gonna go, instead of sitting in a bucket like that, yeah. I'm gonna go <laughs> out. Excuse me, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna lay flat. Are you ready? Yeah, I, think, I, I, think, I think now or never. You. And now, and now what? <laughs> wait, should I? Wait, I'm, <laughs> I can't I'm not holding you, and you're like laying down. <laughs> so I did make us a little something because I felt like we had worked so hard today. Mm. I mean, this looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm a cocktail master mixologist, um, but maybe. In the making. Mm, in the making, yeah. for sure. Yeah. What was your favorite moment of the day? The most unexpected thing that happened for me today was the fall on the twizzle. The spot. I mean, are you kidding? Yeah. The precision. Yes. 
You know what I love is that like you can be the best skater in the entire world and you still make mistakes. Oh yeah. Skating is hard. No, yeah, it really is. And, and you I have think to like practice. some people forget that it's so hard. It's true. Bye. Because people like you do things so beautifully. It they, oh, it looks okay. so easy. Thanks. Boop, boop. I really feel like we should show everybody yeah. our routine. We're gonna make up our routine. We're gonna put all of our elements together. Shall we? We shall. Okay, don't forget to make eye contact. I won't. Oh my god, I would never. <laughs> so what's the opening pose? I think that yeah. for sure, and definitely. Then dramatically. And then, <laughs> and then push. But then it won't let you push me away. No. And then let's sit, let's start with a spiral. Okay. Okay. A little warm up. Yeah. I like that you you like bat your eyelashes on me. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> I touched your butt. Okay. <laughs> and now let's come around and we'll do our twizzle, right? Okay, yeah. I tripped. <laughs> and lunge? Yeah. We're just gonna throw another move in there really quickly. And, and now, then, bucket lift? Yes. Should but first, dramatic. We, we do this. This is on the music. And then bucket lift. <laughs> Beautiful. Lunge. Topic. And then another one. Another one. <laughs> and lunge. <laughs> and then. That's it. No, we're missing our second lift. Oh, oh my god. Another. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing another lift? Yeah, we have our <laughs> futon. Oh, the, the futon. Wait, I didn't, I didn't practice it this way. <laughs> uh, we an ending pose. <laughs> well, if that's not gold medal worthy. I don't know what is. Meryl, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Well, make sure that you guys follow Meryl on all her social media. Meryl, what's your handle? Meryl E. Davis on Instagram. At Meryl E. Davis. <laughs> At Meryl E. Davis. Mm. Make sure you like and subscribe this video. Hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you next time here on Break the Ice. And a special thank you to our sponsor, Kettle One. <laughs>